Hi, Dick Klusky, Serious Rider Skills, MakeHits.com. Dick at MakeHits.com. That's my email if you want to get in touch with me. Any questions, any, anything worrying you about the music industry? Get in touch. I seem to be getting a lot of questions. Oh, it's gone a little bit dark. Sun behind the tray, just as I'm waiting to cross the road. Very carefully, by the way, crossing the road when you're doing this sort of selfie stuff. Another car there, just going past my granddaughter's school, which is that school there. My son went to this school as well, one of the finest schools in Britain. Expensive. I must be mad. But I'm getting a lot of questions about publishing and that recently. And I hope this will be a little bit of a short one because it's a very easy question to answer. I had one of the guys, one of the Serious Writers Guild, email me. He bought my manual, how to start your own publishing company for less than £100. And he got his company up and running. Quite successfully, I think. He's got a few cuts already. And he said to me, he said, an American friend has just asked, can he have permission to record one of his songs? And I was quite taken back by that for a start, and I'll get onto that in a minute. Then he said, how much should I charge him as a fee for recording one of his songs? I said, hold on, Charles. Hold on, Charles. I think you've got this thing completely wrong. Because if you sign up with EMI Publishing, say, or Virgin Publishing, Warner Brothers, whoever, Piers Morris, you will expect that they get cuts. In other words, people to perform your song on released records. You will expect that. So what's different about owning your own publishing company? It's exactly the same. You're the writer if you're talking about your own writings or the people's writings for that matter and you are expecting your own publishing company to get you cuts it's unheard of to ask for permission you don't ask for permission the publishing company is actively dying for people to record the tracks absolutely dying for them so you can't demand that people ask permission. You certainly can't demand a payment for allowing them to record. But I get that question all the time. People asking me, oh, I want to record an Elton John song. How do I get permission? You don't need permission. They are dying for you to record it. In the old days, Publishing companies would even pay for an arranger to arrange the music for the orchestra you're using. I'm serious. Cost some fortunes. I've got loads and loads and loads of orchestrations in my library paid for by publishing companies. So there we are, there's the quick answer. You don't need permission. You certainly shouldn't or you can't charge people to record your song or a song from your publishing company. So that's it, Dick Klusky, walking again. I've stopped for a minute because if I turn around and you see how steep this hill is. Oh, look at that. I've got to just show you this. If you're not in the UK, that's what goes on at schools. Isn't that beautiful? That's my granddaughter's school, as I said. My son went to that school. St Andrews. So there we are, Deck at makehits.com. Serious Writers Guild, four minutes on the net with Deck. See you next week. Why not get in touch with me? You may have your own question. See you then. Bye. Mm -hmm.